Hey, this is Rene, and this will be a short tutorial um, to show you how you can create an image or a bitmap um, image in the in the chart like this uh, euro sign here. So this will be a really short tutorial. Uh, we jump into the um, MetaQuartz language editor. You can find it here if you click on IDE or if you click on Tools MetaQuartz language editor. Then you can in the navigator um, or in the upper left corner just click on New. And um, you can pretty much create it in an expert advisor, in a script, in a indicator, it doesn't really matter. Maybe we can use a script this time. So you give um, it any name, um, like uh, create image, doesn't really matter what the name is, and you click on finish. This will create a uh, script which pretty much has only one function, which is automatically called if the script is activated. So inside of this function, we will put the code to create this um, bitmap label here. And this is, um, if we have a look at the object list, we can see this is a object pretty much in the chart. So any object has to have a name. So we first of all have to create a name. We can store this name inside of a string variable. And the name might be image. You can choose any name pretty much. This is just the name for the object. And this uh, string means that it is a text value stored inside of this variable. Then we have to have a um, file pretty much and or image file and the image file is um, a path to a bitmap file so for example there are some predefined um, bitmap files that you should see in your metatrader 5 um, uh, installation so if you follow my steps click on file and click on open data folder you automatically open the folder where your metatrader 5 is installed then you click on mql5 to find all the programming related things pretty much and then you click on images and there you should find at least these two images $.bitmap and euro.bitmap and in this case um, we can for example provide the path image and then dollar dot bitmap like this. Why do we choose this specific path? This is because um, providing these two backslashes here before we, we write image, this tells the program that we want to start here in the MQL5 folder. And then we go to images and then in image uh, or images like this we want to use the dollar dot bitmap file this is one way of defining the path for this um, uh, for the for the file for the um, image file then we use the object create function to create the object in the chart first of all we have to provide the chart id the current chart where you activate the program always has um, has id zero then we have to provide a object name and this is great because we already have a object name stored inside of this object name variable then we have to provide a object type and here we choose bitmap um, and then you can choose um, one of these bitmap or bitmap, la bitmap label the difference is bitmap label um, for a bitmap, bitmap label you can define the position relative to a base corner so for example to the upper left corner you can say it uh, shall be like 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels uh, downwards and for a bitmap you can attach your image pretty much to a specific bar in the chart so in this case we want to use the label then we have to provide a sub window and a time and a price we can all we can set all these to zero because we want to create the image in the main chart pretty much. And then we can say um, object set string to set the image file as a um, path to the image that shall be displayed. So first of all, we provide the chart ID again. It is zero. Then the object name again. So the program knows what 
object we want to um, yeah set this file for and then you see object prop or as a third parameter for this object set string function you can use object prop bitmap file bitmap file like this and then you just have to use this image file um, variable as a um, uh, as a fourth um, parameter here okay so there I forgot a semicolon if we compile this and if we run the program this will not really work I think so if we click on create image you can see it is run or it is it is executed but it cannot create the image and this is because there is already a object with this specific name in the chart you can see the name here is image so we have to delete it first and if we activate um, or run the program again now, the image is displayed in the upper left corner. So there are two things we can adjust here. First of all, we can delete a existing object that has this name. So we are able to create a new object with this name. And then we want to set the position. And for this purpose, we can use the object set integer function. And we change some properties and in specific the x distance and the y distance. So we can say, for example, 200 for x and y distance, and this will move the image a little bit more in the middle. So if we create image again, you can see the image is now displayed 200 pixels to the bottom and 200 pixels to the right, uh, starting from the upper left corner. And um, yeah, this is pretty much how to create uh, or display a image in the chart. I want to tell you some more things. So if you want to make a or create a executable out of this program, you can click on compile here. Oh, and this is a step that you should do frequently to create a um, executable. And if we click on right click open containing folder, we will see there is a ex5 file. And you could take this file and move it to your friend's PC and he could use it on his PC. But if he doesn't have the image file it will not work and for that purpose you can create a resource and you can say for example the resource shall be this specific um, path I think without a semicolon because this tells the um, meta editor pretty much or the compiler that he has to put this image inside of the executable so he does not need the image file on his PC to use it. And here you can use this double uh, colon because this says that you want to use the file that is part of the program already. So if we compile this and um, remove the program from the, from the chart, it should still work. So if we create the image, it is still working. And... Um, yeah, let me let me show you that it really did did the job here. So um, I can, for example, whoop, not there. I can, for example, um, remove this dollar uh, dot bitmap here, um, or I can move it somewhere else, like in um, some subfolder, for example, um, sub subfolder. And if I move it here, you can see this program is still working because the file was already in the executable but if i um, redo all the changes here and if we go back to the previous state where we just tried to um, use the file from the images folder you can see this will now not work because the image is no longer inside of this folder, so it cannot be used by the program. And this is why you can use this resource um, um, statement here. So let's go back to this state where we use this resource, resource statement. And there are some more tricks. For example, I could also um, place a, a bitmap file um, in the same folder where my program is. So my create image.mq5 file, which is this um, source code file, is currently in the scripts folder. Now I placed a B5 
BM trading underscore giant dot bitmap file here. And I can now take this file. Now I do not need all these backslashes and stuff like that because it is in the same folder. So I can just go like this. And here it is the same pretty much. I can just just um, use the name of this file because it is now in the same folder as this create image.mq5 um, program. And you can see it is still working. It is creating the BM trading logo here. And yeah, this is a great way of displaying um, images pretty much in the chart. And maybe I can, because this is a really short video, I can also show you how to create a bitmap. Um, so everything is pretty much the same, but now we can provide a date time and a price. So for example, we want to have the time of um, the current bar or um, maybe of the, um, not the current bar, but the third bar from the right. And we take, for, for example, the high price of this bar. So we can, first of all, um, we can uh, receive the values using the iTime and iHigh function. And we can now provide these variables that are just created here for the object create function. So if we are running the program again, you can see this is now attached to the um, third bar pretty much from the right. So this is bar one, this is bar two, this is bar three. And um, it is yeah displayed pretty much at the top of this uh, candle. This look, looks a, bit, a little bit ugly, so we can change some more things. We can say, for example, object set integer, object name, object prop, uh, I think it is anchor. And we can say anchor top or uh, yeah, what, what what options do we have? Right lower top, and I think um, this should already. Um, oh no, it doesn't change anything. So we use anchor bottom, like this. Now it should be displayed um, above the bar. Okay, this is not really what I expected. But yeah, you can see you can change these um, things using the object set integer um, function. So if you want to look at it, you can open the reference, which you can find if you click on help, uh, mql 5 reference, and then you can search for object set integer. And then you can find, if you click on this enum object property integer, you can find all the uh, explanations for things like uh, a line or uh, anchor. Ah, there's a problem. I used anchor and I have to use anchor point, I think. So this is, um, this uh, can be used for uh, bitmaps. So, um, um, let's have a look at this. Below in the center, right? What happens if we use upper and lower? Let's look if this is beautiful, uh, lower like this. Run it again. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. So now it is um, above the candle pretty much. So you can see there's a lot of things you can play around with. And um, yeah, just make sure that you get all the basics and read, um, you can read about the rest in the documentation. So you can change everything pretty much about these objects. And um, yeah, this is how you can create your own um, images in the chart pretty much. And this is just the basic. Um, there are some advanced things um, working with these bitmaps, bitmap files like uh, scaling it, like making it bigger or smaller. And this is uh, not a trivial task in Metatrader 5 programming this little bit advanced stuff, but I already saw in a forum, I googled it before, there are um, uh, some existing files that do the job already. So if you're interested, just go to Google and search for um, uh, MQL5 bitmap scaling and you will find a um, forum thread for this. So this is it. This is how you can create beautiful images like this one in a MetaTrader 5 chart. 
So I hope you liked this little video. And um, if you did, leave a thumbs up. So um, see you next time. Until then, have a great time. Bye.